If you use Wix.com to host uh, and build your website, it's inevitable that there's going to come a time where you need to add some new pages and content to those pages. Um, so this is a very quick guide to show you how to do that. Uh, before I go into doing that, I want to show you that we've got some navigation buttons across the top here. And if we want to add a new page, we get a choice of either adding uh, a new page, which is going to create a new button at this level, or we can add it as a sub page, which will give us the option to start building drop menus. What we're going to do is come over to this button here for pages, the icon, clicking on that, and you can see there's our page buttons. Um, you can drag and drop them into order, so if you look at this list you could see that um, that's the order that those buttons across the top there follow. Um, you just drag and drop to reposition them or reorder as you want to. And um, to add a new page you come to the bottom and click down here and you're taken to this um, uh, pop-up menu which gives you the option to use some of the pre-built page layouts so you can start with a blank one um, just go through these pick something that you like the look of I guess I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna give it a title and as I said I'm gonna add this one as a sub page clicking OK means that um, you don't actually see anything here because that's going to appear as you can see over this side as a sub item under the home and uh, there it is and so if we want to edit the content on that that's all we do we click on it start um, going into the text and um, there we are titler I don't know what that was all about anyway so coming over here once that's done I just click on save and we get prompted that actually it's saved but we need to publish it if we want to set those changes live so that's what I'm going to do and then I get the option to promote it I'm going to say not now so coming over to this other tab and reloading it you'll see that what we've got is um, exactly the same navigation as before but our other one has now got a new um, drop menu item and there's our page and that's how you do it if you want to remove pages Let's take this one as our example again. You go to your page um, and click on the cog and then using this button here you can delete it. You can also hide it from the menu if you want to. Um, you can give it some SEO settings which is going to be very important if you want to make the most out of um, getting your content on the search engines. Um, or you can use this page as a duplicate to um, create a new page um, so this would act as effectively a new template so that's really all there is to it I'm just going to click on delete and yes I do want to delete it so I need to save that once more say OK and publish just to make sure that those um, changes have been saved out through the site and when I now reload this one you can see that um, that uh, drop menu item has disappeared and that's all there is to it.